Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today, June 25th, 2024. We're almost done with the month already. Time flies. Um, trading range for today, pretty uh, standard. We had a lower high form on the daily chart. You can see right here, we tried to break yesterday's low, went through it, tapped it a couple times once. I see this as like twice basically almost. Um, failed and rejected to a higher move. We didn't get past yesterday's high. That is quite a ways away. Um, you know, there's still a little bit of time in the market for today. I know this is going to be a little bit of an earlier video. Still about an hour left before market closes. So anything could happen. But um, wanted to get this out because I'll be gone for the remaining of the week after this. And I should be back hopefully um, next week, if not a few days after that. So you'll have to be without me for a little bit. But um, we'll go over the trades today and I'll show you the trade I took and all that good stuff. Okay. So pre-market session here, um, as we can see, we had a little bit of a sell-off. Again, this is where we tested yesterday's low and it rallied higher here. We had our break into extreme. And again, you can draw your trend channels if you like. I'm going to change the cursor here. And the first real trade that I saw for today was this first entry pulls back, second entry long, failure. So there's a failed second entry long after your break into extreme, so good context here. It is a little bit into support, um, but you do have room to the lows here for uh, two points, which is great, and within our risk parameter as well of only six ticks. So awesome trade there, awesome failure, plenty of room to the lows there. Good failed second entry long. And then you can see it just kind of goes sideways here. You get a one, two, three uh, test, but really no good signal bars here. So context wise, it's okay. Um, you basically kind of get this two legged correction as you can kind of see here um, as it goes down and tests 55.18, comes up, first entry, second entry short, failure, um, goes higher, goes lower, goes higher. Again, just bullish channel upwards, rejection off the EMA here going back up to test this support, or sorry, this resistance here. And this uh, 55, 30, 75, we'll just say 55, 31 to make it easy, um, has acted as resistance all day. The first real good, decent trade, you know, the high probability trade is right here with the second entry long. Um, you don't get a break of this downward channel, but you do get a first entry pulls back, higher low, second entry long, great signal bar. This thing takes a second to um, play out. Um, but it leads to quite a big move here. Not a run or anything, but a good scalper's profit. Then we get our move, our break, our new high, and then we get another first entry, second entry long, failure. Same repeat pattern as we just saw a little bit earlier. Whoops. And my bad. There we go. Um, so another failed second entry long, tests once, twice, fails, comes down, breaks, never get a new low, kind of just this micro little swing double bottom thing here. Rallies higher, fails, again, very standard thing that keeps happening on the day. Goes test scenario, drops to support, test scenario, drops to support. You can see how also choppy and noisy this is. Um, what I also saw was this one, two, three. I kind of see this triple test. This thing has acted as resistance multiple times. This is a good signal bar here with you know six points of risk here, so it would be seven. And um, back down, I mean, this is a scalper's profit, but I mean, you can clearly see the swing lows here. So there's enough for two points. And this thing actually gets a lower high as well, which is pretty good. It's just right into basically this support here and it'd probably be drawn like something like that. And it just falls through. It does, you know, it's pretty rare for it to happen. It just falls right through, back down to the midline, clear trading range on the day. So this is a nice triple test, basically what I see here. And if you're counting from the most recent swing low, you can clearly see a first entry pulls back, second entry short. This lower high isn't, I'd say, tradable, but um, context as you're watching price action, you can basically understand that price is probably going to go lower if we go below the lower high. Okay, that being said, we make a nice bearish move all the way back down to near the previous day's low here, and within this, um, I don't see any decent trades that are within our system here. Um, you know, you just kind of get these bear flags going all the way down. You get a nice lower high here, but 
you know, it's already at the bottom of the move. You gotta be careful. Then you get this test all the way back up here and you get this nice signal bar. Maybe you take that. This is the first break of that. So if you really know what you're doing, I think you could take that. But you know, you get another lower high again, but it's at the bottom of the range. You get a one, two, three triple test here. This isn't the best signal bar. It's also a first entry, second entry long. Um, I wouldn't take this. I don't think this is valid enough, but um, as you're watching it, you can see the spike, then the channel starts to form, and then this is where I took my first trade for today. And you can clearly see it within a trend channel, first entry, second entry long. I actually entered here a few ticks back, so my stop was only six ticks, which is great. Uh, my entry was great, my stop was great, and scalp out for two points here. As you can see, this thing makes its way higher. We get a break. We haven't got a new high yet, so still waiting on that. Um, but as you can see here, we do have a first entry, and we never had a second entry form here on the day yet. So maybe we'll get a lower um, low below this uh, signal bar to trigger it. Might be a failure. But overall, that's the way that I've seen the market for today. Again, there's still an hour left. Um, I just want to get this video out before I got a lot to do. So... That pretty much is going to wrap up the week for me. Nice green week. Um, green all the month so far. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to trade next week. We'll see. I'm hoping so. Um, price action has been a lot better this month than it has for the last couple of months before that. So that's good to see. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are trading as well. Hope you guys are trading good. Let me know how you guys did today. A um, little bit of a hard day, especially with it being a trading range. But there's still always an opportunity here and there. So that's always good. Alrighty, I will see you guys when I see you. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I appreciate all the support.